It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we're going to look here at Marvin Jones. He's coming off a week where he lit up the defense and the stat sheets. It's the Jags and the Chargers, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. to move over 500 and we're underway here in week three. Joe Reed going to return it from his end zone. The Charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way already a star in just his third season. It's Justin Herbert. Six-year man, Austin Eckler. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The Chargers trot out their dime package expecting a throw on third down. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Three yards on the keeper, and it's fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. On oh, the return is Reed. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. And the Chargers are going to take possession. Of... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. But for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Now on second and 13. Lawrence, this one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A man coming off a washout 2021. It's Travis Etienne. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. The Jaguars have one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind, it certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate. The Top NFL. On third down, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. 
And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 24-yard line. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. On play action, Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Lawrence. Touchdown! Evan Ingram, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. ETN up the middle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second down and a run by Robinson. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. And search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Mark. The extra point try now for Santoso. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. On first down, it's Herbert. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. But Charles, a look now at the Jaguars' 2022 draft class. They were the sixth franchise to pick number one overall in back-to-back -back drafts. And after getting the franchise face Trevor Lawrence a year ago, they're hoping that they found the face of their defense moving forward in Trayvon Walker. I'm going to stick with defense and come back to Trayvon Walker because, remember, they added Devin Lloyd, the linebacker, late in the first round. And in the third round, another linebacker in Chad Muma. Well, let's face it, this draft will be remembered for them taking Trayvon Walker, and they're looking forward to him producing as a big-time pass rusher. Here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That's a 43-yard punt, aided as well by a loss on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Some good games coming up here in week three, the first weekend of fall officially. And tonight, the Niners and Broncos from Denver. 49er fans are probably saying, wait, I thought we were done with Russell Wilson. Now they'll see him tonight 
And then on Monday night, Cowboys and Giants from MetLife Stadium kicking off at 8.15 Eastern. Throwing on first down, Robinson. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge off his receivers downfield. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Got to like what we're seeing from him so far in this game. This is the third game of the season. And he's already accumulated an AFC Offensive Player of the Week award in this young year. Yeah, week two was his. The announcement came Wednesday that he got that award. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. Looking downfield for Jones. And he bats it away. Touchdown, that's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago, where it was the visiting Texans who were able to come away with the road victory. Philip Dorsett, well over 100 yards receiving, and a touchdown catch as well. From there, we head over to the Pacific Northwest to check on the Seahawks at home in Seattle. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Marcus Mariota has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. We continue on with the check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Jags. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jaguars ready to get going to start quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, but to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They'll look to throw again. Man open, here is Jones. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 
pass interference. Defense. So pass interference the call, and that does Automatic not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Robinson will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Well, the pass interference call on the previous play, that set him up nicely for that one-yard touchdown run. Yeah, they were able to capitalize from a yard out. Plenty of barking from the sideline about the call, naturally so. But maybe you have to quit barking a little bit and focus on the next play. Their focus wasn't there, and they gave up the touchdown. Santoso now for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Five plays there on that drive. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. From series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of the first as that leads to fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Complete to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Flush down right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Jacob. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. James Robinson with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Showed some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to make... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. This complete to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He completes it to Jones. 
And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run again here with Robinson. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the 3. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. He'll look to throw. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it will be second down. He's back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. Now they burn the timeout. And they're kind of in that gray area where they might be able to get two plays in, but maybe just one play left in this ball game. We'll see. to his left. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Arnold. And they will get the timeout. So three seconds remaining, and they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime. surface did the coach feel like you know if they tied the game they couldn't go any farther they had too many injuries I'm not sure what was going on there but i'm with you i'm stunned they didn't try and kick the field goal there 
so for the Chargers, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the year.